So here's kind of an oddball machine. A little General Electric. You know, I actually ended up buying this machine not because I wanted the vacuum itself, but because I wanted all the tools that were in the box. Or at least a good chunk of them, because there was some Panasonic tools, some Dirt Devil tools, and it's like, oh, I could use those. So this is actually going to be going up for sale. I haven't posted it anywhere yet, but if you are interested, do feel free to hit me up. It's, uh... It's got a few problems, like it's got a crack in the body here. I put some super glue on it, so that shouldn't crack any further. I don't know what this is for, but it swivels out. I took the motor apart, I re-greased the bearings, washed the cloth bag out. So I mean, it's... It's in pretty decent condition. And then as for the uh, accessories, I really only have the, uh, I've got the hose for it. And then I have these two tools. So I mean, it's not totally complete, but I just thought I would do a short little video on it. And this is amongst the quietest vacuums I've ever heard, partially because it's, you know, such low wattage, I'm sure. But it also has, a, I'm guessing, fiberglass insulation. It was yellowish, fibrous, reminds me of fiberglass. Pretty dirty, too, so that got washed out. But uh, let's run through the usual test with this. Like I said, very, very quiet. Now let's... Do, let's do an airflow test. Oop. Because I'm going to have to hold this. So that appears to be as much as we're going to get from it. So now we'll do a suction test. Where is my gauge? hose on it. Yeah, it's definitely no powerhouse, that's for sure. But, you know, what do you expect from such a low wattage machine? But I'm guessing we're not going to get any more than this. So let's redo the suction. Oh, that's surprising. I thought for sure we'd get a little less on it. Hmm odd. Oh well. But yeah. Like I said, not horribly powerful, but it might be a fun little machine for another collector to have, so 